Lionel Messi's one of the greatest ballers of all time man, dudes won everything, with all of that, success, comes the big paychecks, see, Messi ain't your average pro baller, he's damn rich bro, so I, just had to make a list, of the 10 most expensive things Messi owns that cost more than your life, and just wait till you hear about the time he beat Ronaldo, in the greatest money showdown of all time, Messi's a special man, he's so special, that back in 2012, when he was tearing defenders into shreds, and banging in goals every week, Japanese jeweler Ginza Tanaka decided he wanted to have a piece of the little magician for the whole world to see, literally, so Tanaka came up with a plan, and he flew down to Spain, teamed up with Leo, and together, they created a freaking masterpiece, Messi's left foot, legit cost 5 million dollars, that's crazy, we call it the golden foot, and it will cost you 5.25 million dollars US, it's a little expensive, but it's meant for wealthy people around the world, and with feet like that, Messi knows he has to watch his steps all the time, yeah, so our homie spent millions, in making sure, every second counts, his watch collection is insane, 25k APs, 45k Rolexes, and a 120k Hublet, damn, that's my allowance for 25 years, but the crazy thing is, these aren't even in the top 3 of Messi's list of exclusive watches, in, 2019, Jacob Amp co went all out and created a 150k special edition watch for Leo, and you, ain't gonna believe the stuff that's on there, it's legit covered in diamonds, sapphires, and rubies, Talk about ice on your wrist Leo, the watch is cold, but it's still 100k off Messi's most expensive Raleigh, Jacob Amp co weren't done with Messi's wrists just yet, so they brought the heat and took the ice game up a notch, it hits differently, it ain't just covered in 104 baguette diamonds, it's leveled up too, it can tell the city you're in with the time and the date. It's special, but it's gotta step aside because Messi's most expensive watch is so unique. There's literally only one in the entire world. Back in 2021, after Messi won his seventh Ballon d'Or, the guys at Purnell wanted to get in on the action with Messi, and that's when they released a watch for Leo that's so exclusive, even the richest dude on the planet can't afford it. I was very sad to see that, yeah, you know it's really tough, it's difficult. It became so incredibly popular, Purnell had to make eight other copies at 350k each. Leo has the original version, and it costs way more than all the others combined, but watches aren't the only golden thing Messi likes to keep on his wrists or his hands, because his next purchase is made out of solid gold. You see, normal people, they have normal phones, but when you're Leo Messi, yeah you know the drill, it's gotta be spectacular. Messi's iPhone is customized with his name and jersey number on it. Cool, but dude, it's gold, it's supposed to be 21k, but that ain't the truth. See, Messi's phone is worth millions, and it's because, in it, he's got pictures of the next item on the list, his most prized possession. In 2021, Messi won his seventh Ballon d'Or. Nah scratch that, in 2021, Messi became the only guy to win seven Ballon d'Ors. The guy's unbelievable I know, and it ain't cheap either. See back in 2013, Ronaldo sold one of his five Ballon d'Ors for 600k, and if Messi's got seven, dude's got 4.2 million sitting in his basement. Watch collections, Ballon d'Or collections, Messi's obsessed with getting stuff in bulk, and that's why his next purchase is more expensive than the national budget of Egypt or even Argentina. Messi's the owner of the MIM hotel chain group, and they're buying up fancy stuff all over the world. The first one was this baby in the sand, but you know it's Leo, it ain't no ordinary beach hotel, because the place with 77 rooms, has got its own rooftop bar and pool, imagine cocktails and looking at a whole city, that's the stuff right there, but Messi and MIM, were only just getting started, and next up, he got an even more exclusive resort, now this one is really cool, and next level 2. Heck, it's got an underwater DJ set in the pool, area, soaking in all that water and jamming to chill vibes, Messi, you're a genius, he's got. Hotels all over Spain, in places like Mallorca, Costa del Sol, and even up the ski mountains. And they've got all the latest stuff you can imagine. And all the space you need, with 141 rooms. But Messi's a family guy, and even though he owns all of these amazing hotels, he spent millions to get the perfect crib for his wife and his kids. See, back when Leo lived in Barcelona, he was in a messy situation. Noisy, annoying neighbors, who ain't got M. Messi could have just filed. A noise complaint or gotten soundproof doors, but he's La Polga guys, and one time he got so pissed. What he did next, no one saw coming. Yeah, he bought all his neighbor's houses, and sent him packing, rich vibes Leo, big flex, Messi's first crib in Spain, cost him 2 million dollars, but because he's the perfect husband, and dad, 
He spent four times that amount to make sure it had everything they'd need. Cozy rooms and playgrounds for Mateo, Ciro, and Tiago. Swimming pools to cool off after working out in his gym floor. An entire football pitch. On the outside to play with his pet dog. And it's so protected that planes can't even fly. Over it, Messi really loves his privacy. But in 2021, Messi had to leave for PSG. And it was hard for our guy. See, he'd spent his time to make sure he got the best place for his family in Spain. And now he was gonna have to do all of that work again in France. But luckily for Leo, he found the right spot, and when he swiped his card, he had spent just over 40 million and got the perfect location. This ain't state of the art. This is the art. Man, it's got everything. A movie theater. So when he ain't training, he can kick back, relax and watch all the videos on our channel. The one he's subscribed to of course. You know he's the GOAT. So hit that like button and subscribe to join him. His new house has also got 30 rooms, a parking, garage, and a freaking awesome swimming pool. The house is great, but that isn't the only place. That's all about Messi. Just wait till you see his next one-of-a-kind purchase. It'll blow your mind. Messi cares about his fans a lot, but most of them don't know much about his life. So he came determined and made it his mission to give his life to his fans. By giving M the experience of a lifetime. Dude, the place is incredible. It's got theaters, virtual reality, and holograms. It's like outer space, but in Messi's galaxy. But all this new tech stuff, it ain't the half of it. Messi's got even more amazing plans for this joint, including a football pitch, roller coasters, hotels, and bullet trains. The guy's building another planet just for his fans. And they love him man, because they know he'd give them everything, including his own life, just to protect M. See back when Messi was just a kid in Argentina. It could have been different. The world's most famous footballer might have never even gone pro. Growing up, the doctors discovered a growth hormone deficient in Messi's body. And he needed surgery immediately. But you see, Messi's family didn't have that kind of money. And no one in Argentina wanted to help. Until Barcelona showed up and saved Messi's life. And made it his mission to make sure that no kid has to go through that kind of stuff again. So he created the Lionel Messi Foundation. And for over 15 years, he's been saving poor kids around the world and giving Emma an education, Messi, you're a hero man, hats off. He donates a portion of his salary to his charity. And to prove just how much they mean to him, he sold his record-breaking cleats and gave all the funds to the kids in need. He's even teamed up with guys like David Beckham and UNICEF, just so they help as many people as possible. Messi's given up $2.4 million to charity alone, but his biggest goals aren't the ones he scores on the pitch, but off of it. Despite all of this success, Messi likes to keep it private, and that's when he heads up to the clouds on this $16 million bad boy. Dude legit has his own private jet, and it's completely personalized. It's like his crib in the sky man because it's got all the stuff you can think of. 16 seats, a full kitchen, two bathrooms, and TVs. His name is on the front of the jet as well, so you don't think it's Ronaldo's. Now, Messi and Ronaldo, they've got history man, winning many Ballon d'Ors and Champions Leagues. But their greatest confrontation wasn't in the Champions League or La Liga, heck. It wasn't even played with a ball. Messi's got a ton of cars in his garage. 150k Audis, 250k Maseratis, and a $2 million Bugatti that's so fast, it's illegal in some countries. But none of these bad boys are his favorite. When Messi heard his dream car, the Ferrari 335S was up for sale, he was excited man. But there was only one problem, this guy. See, Ronaldo knew how much the car meant to Messi, so he put in a bid first to try and steal it from Leo's hands. But the guys at the auction coming with a bag full of green, and when he popped in, he made a bid that left Ronaldo stunned. Whoa, he dropped $30 million on this beauty. With all of that money, he couldn't just park it in a normal garage, hell no. And that's when he pulled up in Miami, literally. This place is insane, you don't need a key to your crib because your car serves as a key. But Messi wasn't done condo shopping in Miami. He had eyes down the street on another place. And in this one, he took everything. He cashed in on the entire floor. Four bedrooms and bathrooms, wine cellars, six pools, and other crazy stuff. But that ain't the best part about this place. Nah, check out this amazing view. Messi's got a 360 degree view of Miami. That's the life. Imagine chilling out here with a bottle of wine and watching this video. There's no way you wouldn't want to. Hit that subscribe button and watch this video on 10 things you didn't even know about Leo.